here on Channel 31. All right, and that was the wonderful Miss Doris at Outblake's first birthday. First. First birthday. <laughs> yes, OK. Um, all right, let's make our first guest for today very welcome. It's Wes Snelling and the lovely Potato Dancers. <laughs> Deb and Desiree. Now, you'll come in today to talk specifically about a show that you've um, got up and running. Yes. Called Extravaganza, Extravaganza. Beyond. Beyond yes. Burlesque. Beyond Burlesque. Okay, so that's the extra part of the... Yeah. ...that I didn't get to start up with. Plot. There we go. Do you want to give us a brief... Overview of the whole event. Well, it's it's a very uh, big Rocker Stedford number, really. Rocker Stedford Cabaret, there's lots of very... Uh, bad but fabulous dancing <laughs> and at any time um, there'll be like a serious ballad number and then all of a sudden we'll just shing across the room yeah. <laughs> so it's lots of colour and movement and lots of fun yeah. there but sort of not very serious tongue in it's not very, very serious no. for one little bit well we like that yeah it's we like that have some theatre that's not very serious yeah. um, went to a production not long ago and I nearly had a hemorrhage of the brain trying to figure out what the hell they were talking about so yeah, it'd be nice to come along. Uh, let's do some dates. What, uh, when do we start? Well, it's already started. Right. It started yep. last week, and it runs for this week and next week. Fantastic. Throughout the Fringe. Yeah, and whereabouts? Where is it playing? It's on at Black Box at the Arts Centre. Cool. And it's 9pm, and it runs for an hour, and it's 16 and $14. Tickets at the door only. Cool. Mm. I All haven't right. done that enough yet. And, and how's it going? How's the run going? Yeah. Really well. Yeah? And yeah. feedback's been really, really good? Well. Yes. Yeah? Really good. Cool. Good and it, it is part of the Fringe Check Festival, too, for yes. those that don't know, so you can look on the Fringe website um, for details if you want. Now, yeah. I've, I've got to ask the obvious question. What <laughs> is a potato dancer? <laughs> well, these are the fabulous potato dancers, the cabaret potatoes. <laughs> and um, it all began... The show is very Divine Madness, Bette Midler, very... Um, mm -hmm. And so it... All began as a character that I do called Mandy Mash, and um, and so I got the girls in to be the dancers, the fabulous okay. dancers, and they ground me. <laughs> <laughs> they very, give you level-headed. Very level-headed. Yeah. Yeah. So this is your uh, um, imagination that's uh, dreamt this up. This you is your baby. Yes. Yeah. How did yeah. you get the concept together and sort of you know get it all off the ground? Um, well, I've been doing comedy and cabaret for a while, and um, I've been doing it. In, certain groups of people and doing cabaret with Hot in the Kettle and comedy with Ultra High Frequency. And, oh, yeah, um, we've had them on. Yes. And uh, we, um, and so this time I just thought I'd love to do a cabaret show which is something like I do in my bedroom every <laughs> time <laughs> of the week. So a bit of a hairbrush. completely self-indulgent. <laughs> how many, how many people are involved in this? Is it just the three of you? Them? No, if, I've got guests that come on. Um, <laughs> the, each night the show opens with a certain amount, like some nights we have seven, some eight, some two, belly dancers. Oh. So it starts off with some belly dancers and then... Um, girls or boy belly dancers? Girls. Oh. Boy one, Shiva. Yeah. Have you seen a boy belly dancer? Shiva, his name is, yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, I'm learning. I'm, Are you? I'm dying you to How do it cool. properly. Yeah, I'm kind of learning oh, each night as it goes along. Oh, I think it's now. Yeah. 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 I can sing it for a dance. <laughs> <laughs> Are you basically working all in one costume and all that sort of stuff? You're changing um, over there and are changing a couple with your guests. We have costume people, and we have um, we had a few more costumes the preview night, and then after the preview night, threw a few other people <laughs> <laughs> when we didn't quite make them. But um, but it's all cleaned up now and all fabulous. It's a bit like that. Um uh, that drama school, did you see that? And they put oh, on I their first that. show and they were trying to get into this track suit and they had like 15 seconds to get 30 yeah. of them into track suits in a room that was this big. It was, it was so yeah. funny. Yeah, very it's cool. alright when you're doing it in your bedroom, trying it out, but when you're <laughs> yeah. to do it and you're sweating. Yeah, you've got no one looking at your tracks yeah. and all that sort of stuff. So sure, sure. Show garbage bags. I think it looks great. I'm extravaganza. And it says here, Wes manages to tease the crowd into a frenzy. Manages, yes. Manages. Somehow. And himself, for that matter. <laughs> so you said it is self-indulgent, so it's something that you really, really enjoy doing. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. 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 And cool. being burlesque, it's a very kind of sensual, sexual kind of... Oh, kind of, you know. <laughs> like, you might have to go along. Burlesque. Well, the thing is, if it's if it's your own, as I mean, you saying self indulgent, but that means it will come from the heart, which means it's it's you just you'll be pouring your energy out there, obviously. Yeah. So for for an hour, like, and we're talking pretty much non-stop. Definitely. Whoa. Yeah. You collapse at the end of it. Oh yeah. 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 Collapse to the beaches medley. Big difference between working <laughs> like this solo and working with a company. Definitely. Yeah. Um. I mean, benefits, positives and negatives of both. Like this has been. 
But it's really strange because this I set out to do this and I thought, yeah, I'm going to do a solo show. And I've managed to bring a team of about 50 people. <laughs> Which way would you prefer to swing now now? Is uh, an art, art that's mixed mixed he swings both, both ways, ways, baby. <laughs> 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 yeah. I think from um, doing this, it'll make me appreciate working with other people a lot more. Yeah. But you must enjoy not having, because you're sort of the boss, you don't have to answer to anybody and you can sack people or tell them to come back. No, but it also, so that's fun. But the, yeah, also the downside is that is, is when you're doing something on your own, you've got to, it's up to you. Yes, it, exactly. Well, 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 I have to rely on myself. myself. You should Absolutely always rely on frightening. Yourself. Very much so. All right, um, we've got another instalment from the Bees, Bees News. I've got something wrong with my mouth today. <laughs> Bee News Desk, take it away. <laughs> Thanks, Paul. Um, in the B News Forum this week, we salute the AIDS Memorial Quilt on display this Sunday at the Royal Exhibition Building, remembering those we have lost. The AIDS Memorial Quilt Project, now in its 18th year, is an individually crafted rich tapestry that honors lives lost to HIV AIDS. A unique and creative personal tribute, the quilt project reflects and honors the lives of those that have been infected and affected by HIV AIDS. Made up of large fabric panels, the quilt echoes the life stories of thousands of people who have been lost to the disease, offering a name, a face, a personality to a person that may otherwise be known as a statistic. Individually created and styled by lovers, family, or friends of those lost to HIV AIDS, each panel measures three feet by six feet and it's as original as the person it celebrates, with designs including names, dates, personal antidotes, as well as beloved objects or special mementos. The panels are sewn together into blocks of eight, and these quilts are then displayed either individually or collectively. Owing to the deep emotional, uh, owing to the deep emotion that underlies each panel, those who are associated with the quilt consider it to be a public memorial. Thousands of visitors are deeply moved by the emotion and humanity of the event. The public response to the quilt is characteristic of the growing compassion and understanding of the AIDS issue. The candlelight vigil will be held alongside the Royal Exhibition Building at the new Melbourne Museum Plaza. The vigil will include the gay lesbian chorus, speeches, and the passing over of the newly created quilt panels from around the world. And back to you, Paul. Uh, thank you, Michelle. Um, now, I've done it again, really rudely. I have not introduced our Auslan interpreter for today. Um, his name is Dennis Whitcomb, and he's come in here today especially to do this for us. So please give Welcome him a Dennis. very big round of applause. <laughs> we very much appreciate it. All right. Um, a couple of things. I've got this lovely Monique couldn't be here with us today. And I don't know if anyone's going to be able to pick this one up. I want someone to have a look at that. It's a lovely Monique. And this is her work uniform. I don't know if we can see that. <laughs> there she is. Doesn't she look lovely? Down at Silk and that's the transport, mode of transport they've given Love her as well. So, so Monique, you're looking lovely there. <laughs> um, and, and what was the other thing that I was going to... No, it's gone. Chasing. Chafing. No, that's what you were talking about. Um, all right. Uh, extravaganza Beyond Burlesque is now running from the 25th of this month to the 13th of October um, at the Black Box Theatre. All right now. I'm sitting a black box. Are we going to be... <laughs> <laughs> it's always got to be something, doesn't there? Something underhanded that she's got us. Not like that. Okay. Now, Sally, have you got uh, something intelligent and and you know? She always does. It's me that, well, does. that we can talk about today. Well, that was the thing you, you've asked me, so you've thrown it at me. Yeah. Um, the countdown's um, well and truly on now to a federal election. Let's go around the table. Let's, let's play. Let's play. Boilers. Come on. What's the wrong thing? Amy, you you always. Um, you lead, the, lead us off. Oh, God, no. <laughs> um, All right, I'll start if you don't want to. Um, you can't vote for Kim Beza because he's fat and he might have a heart attack. And um, <laughs> she wants to vote for the Natasha girl because she's yeah. pretty. I think <laughs> We've got to have Natasha stop the spoiler because she's hot yeah. and she's oh. funny and she's sexy and she's intelligent. And Are you, shut up, But Sally. can she run a country? Yes, yes. I think she oh, can. Goodness. I want Buffy for Prime Minister. <laughs> you would. Um, or hope in days of our lives. <laughs> Sally, Sally, you're Sally, Sally, you try Sally, what do you want? Who's Sally? What? No, 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 no. Sally, can you actually tell us why we should go for certain people? Because you know it. I'll just be silly. You go on, you go for it, girl. I, I can't say it. Do it. <laughs> go on. In my honest opinion, the ALP will go into this election underdogs. 
they will, they have got a very 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 difficult campaign to fight. Uh, history says that in when there is crisis, voters usually stand, uh, usually tend to stay mm. with the same government. Mm. Um, I, in my personal opinion, I think it's going to be very tough. I can't pick either the way which way it's going to go, mm, but. Really can. The Liberal Party have got everything to lose and the ALP have got everything to gain. Um, if More they can hold, hold, hold things together with the Nationals and if they get enough votes, I think they might scrape through. Well, Come on, Sal, she's going to hit it out. Okay. Okay. <laughs> you you oh, 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 bless you and keep you. Um, well, in my opinion, Canberra's a dirty, dirty city, but... Uh, oh, 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 oh. Thanks, George. Language. Salty of things dirty. <laughs> Sorry, I, I, I mean, I think there's some good points in what Chris has said. I think um, it depends where the Beasley can sort of get people away from the international issues and get people back to GST, petrol prices, health, mm -hmm. education, waterfront, Breath whatever pumps, else. And set. And set, yeah, and all those sort of things, and that's going to be the challenge, and the, the politicians are going to have to handle the international issues carefully. Um, and also the other thing is, will One Nation run out of control, or will they not? Just what would they do they 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 What were they up to? There was a debate with um, Pauline Hanson, it was very funny. Sally, just mind just adding to a um, just a point there, uh, Canberra is a very, very cold and dirty place. Uh, we watched John Fay, Peter Reith and Michael Woodridge, <laughs> front bench ministers, walk out. They've finished, their parliamentary careers are over. Uh, their last day was Thursday, so that's it for them. So, okay, anyway. thank you very much. Let's remember that this is squeal and not blah, blah, blah. But anyway, that yeah. was very good to have some... Oh, no, and it's happened again. All right, don't forget, Extravaganza Beyond Burlesque, mm. now playing. Get your tickets at Black Box Theatre. Thank you so much for coming in Thanks today and yeah. intriguing us. We've got to come along and see what this potato dancing is all about. <laughs> come I'm down to see your black box. <laughs> <laughs> all right, we're out of here. There's more out black to take us out. Bye. I'm coming back. <laughs>